الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد عبد الله ورسوله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين My dear respected listeners last week we started the discussion about this short and beautiful Surah with a lot of meanings in it. <clears throat> Surah Al-Asr where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that all humanity, all humans are constantly losing out on their life. They are losers in terms of this world and in terms of the akhirah in the hereafter. That time that we have given them, they are making no use of it and they are wasting it and they are making it a source of questioning and doom for themselves in the hereafter except those people who have these four qualities. The first quality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned is those that have believed, that have jumped from the abyss of kufr, the depths and darknesses of disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into those who are in the light of believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who are called believers and those who have accepted that Allah is their only ilah. The first thing is Iman. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who have Iman. وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And those who do good deeds. So it's not only about what is in your heart, but your Iman shows on you by the deeds that you do, by the actions that you perform. And it is not restricted only to your own self, but you are in constant worry and concern about the society and environment and the people around you, your family, your kids, your friends and everyone. You bring them also to these two things. So inshallah, in a matter of forthcoming weeks, inshallah, we want to go over each one of these qualities in a bit of detail, inshallah. And if you think about it, these qualities are very essential qualities of a Muslim. Number one is what makes them a Muslim, which is to say with your tongues and to believe with your heart and your mind. That Allah is our only ilah. Allah is the only one that we worship. Of course, most of us, alhamdulillah, endless thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have been born in a family of Muslims. And we have been Muslims by birth. But have we ever thought, what is it, what does it mean to be someone who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? To be someone who is very different from all other human beings. The one who is honored with the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who has given in to the fact that Allah is my ilah. And he is the only ilah. Al-ilah. The only ilah. The only one that I will submit to. And none else. Allahu Akbar. This iman extends much beyond the very small meaning that we have attached to it. This Iman dictates our life. This Iman dictates our akhlaq. This Iman dictates our reactions to things. The Prophet ﷺ, it is narrated by Sayyidina 
Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhum that he was sitting behind the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam on the same right. So he was very close to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was a small boy. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Ya Ghulam, inni u'allimuka bi kalimat. Oh my son, oh young child, let me teach you some kalimat. Let me teach you some important words. And the advice that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave to this very young child at this young age is be mindful of Allah. Be mindful of Allah. What does being mind of, mindful of Allah mean? Being mindful of Allah means that not only that you pray to Allah, not only that you do what Allah asks you to do, but also when you are in trouble, the first one that you turn to is Allah. And when you are in a moment of happiness, when you are joyful, when you have plenty in your life, when you are celebrating something, you also turn towards Allah. So He is your ilah in happiness and in sorrow. And He is your ilah, He is your reliance, He is the one that you are going to go to. Even if you are poor, or if you are in a very good shape. Remember Allah. Allah will remember you. The words of the Prophet more, more or less. Remember Allah, Allah will remember you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this kind of connection with all of his creations. All of his creations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has this connection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forget anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not let go of anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not let anything be any of its creations. It comes in some narrations that Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, if I remember correct, he wondered how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of every single creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, to take his stick and strike a stone with that stick. As Sayyidina Musa salam did that, the stone split open and there was a small insect crawling in it. Small insect crawling in it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had provided for that insect in its place of living. A stone <coughs> that was sealed from outside. And that insect was praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, praises to Allah who never forgets me, who never lets go of me, who never lets me be. When an insect, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has such a connection with that insect, that that insect is saying, praise be to Allah who never forgot me, who never let me be, who never gave me in the hands of anything else. What will, what will be the connection of Allah with the creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and proudly said, خَلَقْتُ بِيَدَيَّ I created you with my own hand. You have a special, you have a special connection with me. What will, be, what will be the station of that creation? That is us, human beings. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu anh, remember Allah, be mindful of Allah. Allah will be mindful of you. Allah will remember you. And this is said in the Quran as well, that, O oh people who believe, O oh people, if you help Allah, Allah is going to help you. You work for Allah, Allah is going to work for you. Never has it happened that somebody worked for Allah. Somebody changed their life to come to terms with the commands of Allah. And Allah let them be. Allah did not care about them. Allah cares about even the worst of creations that are the kuffar. Even the worst of creations. About whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Ulaika kal an'ami balhum awal. These people that we have made idols in our minds. These people that are our ideals that we want to be like. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Ulaika kal an'am. They are like cattle. Balhum awal. Allah SWT does not even stop at that. Allah SWT says they are even worse than those. Because they have not recognized the very thing that anyone who is just can find within themselves. 
and that is their connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their very own creator who has given them before they were born, who has cared for them, who has provided everything for them, these people do not want to get in touch with that, that creator. But if somebody is mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cares about people who do not care about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if someone cares about the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if someone wants to live in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, imagine how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to care about. The only thing is, the only thing is that there has to remain a challenge. There has to remain a challenge. If the people of Allah, the people who have made friends with Allah, started to get the most luxurious lives in this world, then the challenge will be gone. The challenge will be gone. Everybody will be able to see openly with their eyes that the best way to live is right here. You become a person of Allah and it is going to be apparent on everyone and there will be no challenge. Our minds will start to do that. So to keep the challenge on the outset, the people who believe in Allah, the people who act in accordance with the command of Allah are put through tests. The world says, look, this person started to follow the commands of Islam and Allah. Look what has become of him. But you go and ask that person. Ask him the peace that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is constantly instilling in their peace, in their heart, that they tried for and they went around the world and were not able to find. There's a famous singer, a pop singer who introduced singing in Pakistan, this kind of music. After 20, 30 years of his life of singing in this, a high profile life, he turned towards Islam. He always had that within him and in one of his interviews he has said that that peace, that peace of mind and heart that I found on a broken mat in a masjid, I never found it in the most comfortable hotels and the best life that anyone can imagine I was having. He was a very famous singer and when he turned his life, this is what he's saying. My dear respected brothers, when we remember Allah, Allah is for sure going to take care of us. The second word, the, the second sentence of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ihfadillah tajidhu tujahaka. You remember Allah, you be mindful of Allah, you do as Allah says, you will find Allah right before you. You will find Allah right with you. There will be no distance. You work to, 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 to decrease that distance and Allah will decrease the distance in such that tajidhu tujahaka you will find Allah right there the Prophet sallallahu has said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if somebody comes walking to me I come running to them if somebody comes to me closer to me a span of a hand I go there I go closer to them much more and beyond than them my dear respected brothers, we do little, Allah, we do things on, based on our capacity, how, what kind of skill we have. We are imperfect beings, we try in our imperfect little ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to us in his most perfect way. The remainder of the hadith the Prophet ﷺ said that when you have to seek help, only seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have when you are when you are when you are in need of help, seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the final words of this hadith, the, the strongest ones, is that bear it in mind, know it fully well, that if all people, the whole world basically, comes to give you something to give you some sort of benefit, they will not be able to do so. All of them agree and plan and do their best effort to give you something good, they will not be able to do so unless Allah has willed it for you, Allah, unless Allah has written it for you. And if all of them come together to harm you with something, they will not be able to harm you. All the whole world plans to destroy you, to do damage upon damage to you, they will be able to achieve nothing except that which Allah has already written for you. Which Allah has already written for you. So my dear respected brothers, this is the meaning of Iman.
This is the meaning of faith, having belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That whatever I'm getting, whatever is going to happen to me, is going to happen by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever I'm going to miss out on, whatever, whatever damage, whatever hurtful thing is going to happen to me, that is going to happen by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So who, what does our wisdom, what does our mind say, should we connect with? Who should we be the most in need of? Who should we be asking the most? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the meaning of ilah. That when you have come to terms with this reality, then the only one that you worship, the only one that you truly care about is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that connection of iman. Amin ya rabbal alameen. Inshallah we'll continue talking about this next time.